welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be doing a video about my hair i know i never really talk about my natural hair but i've been in this like really weird like space like i don't want to wear a wig i don't want to wear braids i don't want to wear a style i don't want to have to sit in the chair for too long i just want to like wake up put some water on my hair and walk out the door um now i want to really quickly give a disclaimer i know that my hair is not in the best condition that it could possibly be in but i'm also not super worried about it either some of my hair is obviously straighter than a lot of the others pieces of hair um, but that just comes with a lot of manipulation in particular I'm really excited about this side of my hair. Like, do you see the curls over here? Like they are perfect One side looks better than the other one grows faster than the other. It's just that's how it is Yeah, if you want to see the back, this is what the back of my head looks like Lately, I've been giving it a rest giving it a break It does have some a little bit of damage But what you're not gonna do is like be mad at me for like having damage because I don't feel like my hair is a problem for anybody but me. I feel like there's a lot of pressure for us to have perfect, coily, curly ringlets. They are all the same and they all look the same. Listen, not everybody's hair is like that, okay? And it's realistic for your hair to not all be the same texture, for it to not all have the same curl pattern. Usually when I make videos about natural hair, I get a lot of people who are like really cool and, and cool about it and don't care. And then I get a lot of people who are also like really like, your hair's damaged. Your hair's not really supposed to be like that. You got a texturizer. You got a perm. You did this. You did that. So your hair would be straighter. So you wouldn't have kinky hair. So your hair wouldn't be nappy, blah, blah, blah. This is what I do. This is my hair. This is me. You're clicked on this video because obviously you wanted to see what products I use on my hair to keep it shiny and moisturized and bouncy and all of its glory. So this is why you're here. So that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. First off, I'm going to start off with what I wash my hair with. I shampoo my hair once a week. I shampoo with Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Shampoo. I'm not really picky about shampoos except for in the wintertime when I do need more exfoliation of my scalp because I do have very, very dry scalp and it's very, very flaky. Um, I'll use the Briogeo micro exfoliating shampoo but for conditioner i am a little bit more picky about my conditioners because conditioners are to me what's going to give my hair the shine and the bounce that i need it to have for my wash and go style the the conditioner that i currently am obsessed with right now that i use in the shower and out of the shower is the main choice tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture moisture rinse out or leave in conditioner and it says it helps to support natural growth and retention. Um, number one, it smells amazing. Okay, it smells really, really good. It smells very tropical. I will wash my hair in the shower and I won't actually rinse out the conditioner. I'll just condition it and then get out the shower. Um, and that for me cuts down on time. I don't have to like rinse out the conditioner and then put a whole another leave-in conditioner in. It cuts back on product and it helps me to like conserve product as well. So I just wash my hair in the shower, shampoo it, and then I will rake through my hair, detangle and stuff with this, and then I'll just leave it in there. It's gentle enough for daily use, but it's very, very hydrating. So I do use this pretty much every day. I don't wash it, but I do apply conditioner to my hair every day. And this one is a good one for touch-ups and rehydrating the hair. A lot of people who do wash and goes um, and natural styles, they typically do their hair like once or twice a week. And then they go through the whole week with that same wash and go. But my hair, I don't know why, but my curls will be like this when they're like more wet and damp and like the first day and then when I sleep on my hair the curls don't stay like this like they they flatten out and they kind of like droop my curls don't stay popping overnight they just don't like they don't look like this in the morning in the morning my hair is like frizzy and the curls are gone they're just gone it's like a, it's almost like i blow dried my hair while i was sleeping especially this side because the curls are not as defined on this side um so my second day third day hair is not really cute uh, i prefer the jerry curl wet look that's just me one of the products that i love to use when i'm using this on a day-to-day -day basis uh is a denman brush i love the denman brush because it defines my curls so that's what i use to brush through my hair and detangle uh, i also do use a spray bottle I don't know what it is about regular spray bottles, but I just can't stand them. This one, however, is so nifty. Like, I love this one. I got this from Amazon, um, and I'll put a link in the description box to where you can find it. It costs a little bit more than a regular, just basic spray bottle, but watch how it sprays. And it just, the mist is so like luxurious. Love my spray bottle, I'm obsessed with it. So I use the spray bottle on a day-to-day -day basis to re-wet re 
my hair. I also really like another conditioner. I've been trying this for the past couple days. I did want to mention it, honorable mention. I like it a lot. It's really, really nice and I just got it so I don't know. I feel like I should talk about it. This is the Priming Lotion Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler by Oribe. You can use this on damp hair and dry hair, either one. It's like a primer for your hair. If you are gonna be putting on a lot of products, this layers very, very nicely. So typically, if I'm going to be using more products in my hair than just leave-in conditioner, then I will use this one. Um, I do like this a lot. I feel like it's very, very hydrating. It smells really good. Another product that I really like for curls in particular to give your curls definition and to hold them in place is the Myel Organics Brazilian Cocktail Curl Cream. Ooh, girl. This one I use specifically for the smell because it smells so freaking good. Like people will hug me and they'll be like, wow, you smell really good. So if you rake through, like if you use this, put it in your fingers and rake through your hair with it, it'll like really define your curls and make it look really, really pretty. And it doesn't leave your hair wet. So if you don't like for your hair to look wet, um, instead of using leave-in conditioner, this might be an alternative. Like it'll hold your curls and then when you, if you wanna fluff your hair out and wear it really big, this is good for that. So one day when I wanted to wear my um, my puff, I didn't want my puff to be like little. I wanted it to be kind of big and have some volume. So I put this in my hair without using leave-in conditioner and it really helped to define the curls but also to give me more volume. And then for gel, because I know a lot of you guys like gel. So my curls are not crunchy at all, but they are a little bit stiff. So they're not going to frizz up on me. I do like the Eco Styler. This is my first time trying Eco Styler's Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil, um, but I really like this one. I actually prefer this one over the other ones because it doesn't make my hair crunchy. Because no matter how much I put in my hair, it does not flake or crunch. And I use that, I rake that through my hair as well as the leave-in conditioner to just give um, some definition and hold it in place. So last but certainly not least, my edge control. This is Lovely Bee's edge control. I believe she has a YouTube channel, uh, but she also has an Instagram. I follow her on Instagram and her edge control is so bomb. I got it from Amazon, so I'll put a link down below where you can find it. Look how much I've used and I've only had it for like, what, three weeks? Um, I did put on some today, but I do mainly use it for like keeping my hair flat right here because I do have some shorter pieces up here. So I do have to like slide some edge control up here to just keep it in place and keep it nice and smooth. I find that this is the only edge control that I can put throughout the entirety of my hair and it will not turn my hair white. It doesn't um, revert my hair when I use it with straight hair. It's very nice and I feel like it's conditioning and hydrating and doesn't really give me any problems. I like this more than the uh, Style Factor Edge Gel, mainly because that one gets really hard and it does flake up on you if you use it in the rest of your hair and not just on your edges. I really like this edge control. I just take a little edge control brush and just swoop my edges and stuff with it and it gives me a very nice slick without the ick. That is all of my favorite hair products at the moment. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. I will be doing a hair tutorial, I guess. I can show you guys how to do this style or my puff, either one. It's the same process for both, just one I'm slicking my hair up and this one I'm just slicking it down. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know and I will do that video for you guys. But other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!